What up, guys? Check it out. What up, guys? So, check it out. I'm going to show you four rods that I use every day that I fish. First off, go with my Shimano. A little six foot six, medium action. Um, I got this rod from a local fishing store. Um, they're pretty good guys. Uh, I have no qualms with them, except for just like most fishing stores, they're a little bit pricey. But I got it on a good deal that they are running, so I'm not too particular. So back to this, I'm going to do this rod. This rod is the first, this is, this is rod is the rod that I use for my first smallmouth bass this year. It is a Bass Pro Series rod and reel. My little brother is letting me use it. One, because I don't want to have to go out and buy another rod and reel. Two, because he doesn't really fish a whole lot, doesn't have the time for it. So I use it for him. So I was using this little bone um, swim bait. That's what I caught my um, little smallmouth bass on. First time this year catching a bass. So put that aside. Um, this rod and reel is, is a Kenmore, Kencore, sorry, Kencore. Um, it, it's set up for a uh, halibut right now, but, uh, it, it's, it's literally four foot, nine inches. I'm a six foot four guy and it barely comes up to my armpits. So I have this little TR 100 Shimano reel on there. This reel has actually caught me all my sturgeon. It runs 30 pound test. My two bass rods run 12 pound test. This is running pink braid, 30 pound test. So putting that aside, I know you guys can laugh. It's short, but it works. I use it for ocean and I use it for sturgeon and I use it for <clears throat> anything really besides bass and small fish. This is my favorite rod. This is my Daiwa Saltus. It's my jigging rod. It's my live, I use it for live bait rod. I use it for sturgeon. I use it for big fish. Um, it used to have a Shimano 200 on it or the 100 that I could use for sturgeon fishing. But now I have it on, I have this on it. It is a awesome reel. I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but all my rods and reels, or all my reels are right-handed. I'm a right-handed fisherman, but I got a screaming deal on this left-handed reel. It's a little awkward, but it's not something that I can't do. I'm trying to be ambidextrous about it. I want to be able to use left hand, right hand, right hand, left hand. I don't really care. I want to be able to go back and forth, teach myself how to do that. I can do it in baseball, so why not do it in fishing? So this is, this is my all time go-to rod and reel for right now it is at least. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I went bass fishing the other day. I didn't catch a whole lot. I wanted to add a little bit more to the video. So I figured why not go over what I use for my rods and reels. So stay tuned. You're going to see my first bass of the year, baby. Mind you, I am not a bass fisherman whatsoever. I love saltwater fishing. I love delta fishing. So, I apologize. I was really excited. It is what it is. So, check All it out. Right, first fish of the year out of bass, baby. <laughs> ah, he's up! <laughs> ah, that was awesome. All right, guys, so there's a little uh, update on what I use for my rods and reels. Um, if you guys like my videos, please like and subscribe. If you guys know somebody that does like to watch fishing videos or you think they'll be interested in my content, please info you know let them know what's go you know about my channel. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos of like how I do my rod leashes, they're very cheap and inexpensive. If you guys want to see more videos on how I rig my kayak up, um, if you guys want to see videos on what I use for my safety, you know, while I'm out on the water, I mean, please comment down below. 
Just right there. Just hit comment and let me know.